still jumping into the wall. Don't no, 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 no. I'm attack. Ah, oh, hello. This is gonna be a no crocodile kills run. Oh god, didn't even see you. I was looking at the bloody... Ah, oh, jump scare. An unintentional one. Okay, see you later. Have a good day. Yum yum yum. Gimme. One pixel over the edge. Invest in some better grip shoes, Lara. Instead of whateverness. Don't even start saying something that's going to sound like it's funny if you haven't got anything planned. Sliding slopes. Look around, see a small flat ledge. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This foin. Might as well save it anyway, though. Whoop. of the border? What border? See, I just don't know anything about the world, so I don't know what what that is. Oh! Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. Not lining up properly. could jump from here actually, that would be clever wouldn't it? Yes. Uh -uh. Nah. Only places in UK I've been uh, where I live and Isle of Wight, if that's still in the UK. It might be Wales, probably not though, because nobody there sounds Welsh I don't think. All I know is Wales is in the southy area and Isle of Wight is off the south coast. So oh So that's why That's why I thought that. A 
I've been to Paris though, but I was too young to really remember anything about it now. And Sean Connery wanted it not to be in the UK anymore, didn't he? Which I don't quite understand. Well, somebody did, but I think Sean Connery had something to do with wanting it, wanting it not to be in the UK. Obviously not going through the whole rest of the level without losing more. Oh, oh they're guarding a health kit. Why has the FPS appeared? Ah, ah. No, oh, I'm taking your health kit. I'd have to use the health kit to get it anyway, so I'm not going to bother. Anything to avoid killing them. Okay, I know this one already. Um, I've seen that it has a Revenant statue. I don't know why the new Doom is all about the Revenant. It shouldn't be called Doom, it should be called Doom the Revenant Chronicles. Because he's all anybody focuses on. All the advertising, anyway. Shotgun shells, yeah. Oh. oh, well. It also has, like, you get some kind of multiplayer demon pack for pre ordering it, which is kind of dumb but I guess it depends what it adds. Like if it's something you can get in the game anyway, then that's fine, but it's silly when they have content to the game that's only available if you pre-order. Unless it's just like skins or something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Boom! Here comes Pierre the Litterbug again. Maybe. Yep, there he is. You can come over here, mate. It's a bat paradise. Yeah, hi. Oh, even it didn't even work on Quake 4 because it was called Quake IV bag. No, just IV. At least I think it was on like the box art and stuff. But then I guess Quake 2 and 3 always had like the number in Roman numerals with those nails going through the the thingy or whatever they were spikes. Nothing. I don't actually remember exactly what you're supposed to be doing here. I guess just going down here. Oh, calm down. Oh! Oh. Okay, I thought that was the spike bit. 
but it wasn't because that's over there. Hey, where did you come from? What happened to the monkeys? I wonder if they're going to bring the map back for the new Doom, actually. Probably not, but it would be cool. A cool little throwback, or whatever. I mean, especially since they've... Especially since they've got Snap Map they could probably just do like an auto map thing using that style but I imagine the levels in the new Doom probably aren't going to be that confusing or anything so it probably won't need a map anyway it's probably just going to be like Point A to point B, shoot everything in the way. room. I still don't. Weird. Anyone home? No. Whoa. Closed again. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, I naffed up massively. does look cool but I feel like you know they're making it sound like there's limitless possibilities with it but it's probably really quite limited it depends like I don't 
don't know, it depends the extent to which you can modify stuff. If it's just... If you're just limited to whatever they give you in the editor, then it's... It'll be fun. But... <clears throat> it'll be kind of like the trouble with a lot of procedurally generated games. Like, they're all about... There's a bunch of different room preset layouts. And, like, if you play it enough, you're gonna start recognizing rooms. Like, it's... Oh, it's this room again, but things are in different places. That'll be the trouble with it, if it's just you have these rooms to work with and you can position them how you want. The nice thing about Doom 3 was that you can change literally everything about it. It depends how far they take modding in the new Doom. Either way, it'll be fun. Because if it's simple, that means like, anyone can make maps, so there'll be plenty of stuff to play. But I guess we probably just won't see stuff like... I don't know. Some of the bigger mods that Doom 3 has that change so many things. Make a series of jumps. Thud. Hmm. I guess I want to go over there now. you need this one in there or not. Paying attention, what did that open? I don't remember. Probably one of the corner doors. Save it. I think that's a good sign that you should probably save it. The gauntlet. I don't know. I don't know what that is. No! 
I don't want that. There was another thud. Something weird. Oh yes. Oh man, that was odd. Supposed to be a med pack down here. Maybe that's just an anniversary. If this bit's even an anniversary. Ow! Oh. How are you still not dead? I guess he's buggering off now. Interesting. Ah, here we go. Skills. I could do that in real life, no. that open then? some point when you land there. Okay, that's pretty crazy. But there we go. No! Oh, that is the most dodgy. Oh.
How is anyone supposed to do that? Unless they're me. Magnums. quite fun to be able to do stuff in real life. Like I, I've always thought the best thing life could have would be a save and load function. So you can just save it and then go out one day and do whatever you want. And then just load it. If you get in trouble or something. I like could go skydiving which I wouldn't normally want to do because there's too much risk and I'm a a scaredy wimp because if I went skydiving well I mean it doesn't help that I'm afraid of heights but I'd always be scared that the parachute could fudge up even if there's a very low chance of that happening but it can happen that's enough for me but if I could just let, save my game before doing it then that's alright, I'll just do it anyway. And I'll just load if it messes up. Or I'll just load anyway and get my money back. Because I've had the experience now. So I'll just go back and not pay for it. You could even do some rather fun things. But, um... You could like, you could jump in a pit of alligators, naked. No! Why do you have to go there? And then just load it before they rip you to pieces. Ah, oh. time to have some coffee then and stop the tiredness from overtaking. to go all the way back around for fuck's sake
What's the point? I don't need to go back, back down there, so what's the point? I guess that's just a test of how mean are you killing enemies that there is no reason to kill. <clears throat> oh no. Peter is going to have a f have a fear. That's all right. Nobody likes Peter anyway. No. Why am I here? Swam up its butt. See a sexy. Meow. Yeah. 